30 seconds. If it gets too exciting, there are first aid people standing at the back. Anybody who can't, you know, last it out. 20. Uh, it gets quite exciting towards the end. <coughs> 15. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Your name? Reverend Matterhorn. And your occupation? Meteorologist. And your special subject? Jokes. Right, your questions start now. Why did the chicken cross the road? Pass. If a huge pile of apples fell over a cliff, what would it be called? An avalanche. Correct. In a distant kingdom stood a castle. Outside the castle were three milk bottles. Two were filled, one was empty. What was the name of the king? Philip III. Correct. <laughs> what is black and white and black and white and black and white? A clergyman falling downstairs. That's not the answer I have here. A female clergyman falling downstairs. Can you be more specific? <laughs> a nun falling downstairs. Correct. Knock, knock. Could you repeat the question? Knock, knock. Pass. What? Why is a duck? To get to the other side. No, because one of its legs is both the same. What was the name, what was the name of the slimy, web-footed father of psychiatry? Sigmund Frog. Correct. <laughs> Who is called the King of Slapstick? That is not a joke. Who is called the King of Slapstick? My, su my subject is not Slapstick. <laughs> take Aiden. Uh, take, take Aiden. God knows what they're doing. Oh, don't be stupid. I'm very stupid. Wow. Thank you. Yes, it's the 1975 Operator's Review. <laughs> Well, as 1975 dawned, grey days were still with us, and so were those occasional, unintentional fluffs. A floating crane today lifted from the bottom of the River Derwent, one of the vehicles which plunged off the Tasman Bridge in Sunday night's disaster. Mr. McKercher, I think we've got our copies out of line here. Well, it just goes to show. You can't win tonight. Either we get it when we don't want it, or we don't want it when we get it. But uh, earlier we missed uh, a story, or part of the Broken Hill story, which is, I think, quite important, and that is that a radio appeal at Broken Hill at the weekend raised nearly $30,000 to help the people of Darwin. And tonight's other main story, a draw in the third cricket test after an exciting day's play with Australia finishing eight runs short of victory, still holding two wickets. We'll cross to Melbourne later for highlights of the play there, but first, uh, here's Ross Simons in Sydney with the main story. You can tear the contract for me because I'm not going to sign it. So the words of the idea of the Lord Mark Investing is no. We all want to be happy. I want people to be happy. That place is so unhappy. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth. I have not got a zack. I can't even afford a new pair of bloody shoes. Now, you want to see a fight? I'm going to thump them one by one. I'm going to kill somebody down here one day. I'm absolutely terrified. Loved at all. 1975 saw the end of the black and white era, which, for interstate viewers, traced back almost 20 years. Have we progressed since those early days? Oh, what a Thank you. 
very much. I now perceive a color world go moving slowly by With yellow, blue and all seen through a magic camera's eye But then it had to happen. March the 1st, Sea Day eventuated, and all those on executive levels were urged to trade in their old Magnalux and deep image receivers for better things to come. To Colour on ABC National Television. Endless prism shining bands. Good evening, Ross Simons in Sydney. Latest figures from the election count show the Liberal National Country Party Coalition could have a majority in the House of Representatives as high as 57. From Canberra, the ABC's political correspondent Ken Begg reports. Today's count puts the likely state of the parties in the House of Representatives at Liberal National Country Parties, 90, Labor, 37. Now included in uh, Labor's Lord, 37 are four powerful seats, the ball seats that at this stage appear bad, likely to stay with the ALP. A very tired the doubtful Lloyd. seats are Toronto and Victoria, Victoria to Lloyd, and Gray and Lloyd, in South who Australia. Who has been drawing a well there across the back of us, all four going to be the middle well, poor old Ken's having a bit of uh, competition there with his report from Canberra, so we'll read the report from Sydney. What with Christmas approaching, I suppose you're all thinking about giving presents. While I was hunting through the books again, I went in and got a book that cost me $37.50. As it comes in two volumes, you've got uh, a, a volume of books, uh, of, of writing sort of thing, and here, a very good detailed set of maps of the whole of um, South Australia. And I'll hold this up. And, oh, sorry, Barry, but I used the wrong bloody map. Now, a quick preview of our programs tomorrow evening on ABC. We, after TDT... Now, we'll do that again. ...provide some sort of information of use to the police, or if anybody has any knowledge whatever of any people carrying firearms or having pistols or anything of this nature uh, in an unlawful situation, we would ask them to get in touch urgently with the Elizabeth CIB. Thank you very much, Owen Bevan. Until next week, please don't do anything that we wouldn't do, would you? And uh, if you don't do it, don't enjoy it. Something. Oh, that's messed that up. Sorry about that. Jeepers creepers. I predict a Labour Party victory in the snap election by 55 to 60 percent of the voting. Well, that's the prediction for the coming state election from clairvoyant Andreas Z. Good evening and welcome to this day tonight. And you'll be seeing more of Andreas Z later in the program. But now for some further elections, but from our politicians this time. First of all, the Deputy Premier, Mr. Des Corcoran. Good evening. Could we have your prediction, please, Mr. Corcoran? I'm sorry. Yes, uh, I agree entirely with the prediction that was made. State Parliamentary Leader of the Liberal Movement, Mr. Robin Milhouse. Good evening. Mr. Milhouse, could we have your prediction, please? <coughs> Well, I think uh, Des was rather bowled over by it a moment ago. Uh, I shall ignore it and prefer to forget it. A good, solid Port Lincoln home overlooking the bay. Last year's rates were $200. This year, they are $818. Just round the corner, the owner of this house is comparatively lucky. <laughs> Say 
to black. Stop your watch. Get rid of that idiot. On tomorrow's notice paper, there's a notice of motion by Mr. Milhouse, which seeks to abandon plans for the establishment of Monado <coughs> of Monado on four grounds. <coughs> Sorry. A, the revised... <coughs> I do apologise about that. The economy and the primary industry minister expresses concern about lack of confidence. Good evening, Paul Vasey for ABC News. The Prime Minister, Mr Fraser, today renewed his criticism of Soviet naval power. The Rhodesian Prime Minister, Mr Smith, is back in Salisbury after his talks in Pretoria with the American Secretary of State, Dr Kissinger. A radioactivity hazard. I'm sorry, a radioactivity hazard. Good grief. I'll be back with the latest news at about 25 past nine. Right now, here's Barry Pittman with the weather. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, yes. We do have one more story. I'm sorry. The problems of the unemployed can only get... Keep it rolling, thank you, and we'll uh, go into it again. Keep it rolling, and we're going to start again. We apologise for that uh, break in the plate from Canberra. Crowds of people enjoying the sunny conditions saw the glider stall about 20 metres above the beach and then crash. <coughs> Excuse me. A safety officer with the South Australian Hang Glider Association, Mr Rob Davies, said, I beg your pardon, I'll have to have a quick mouthful of water. <laughs> I'll start that again. A safety officer with the South Australian Hang Glider Association, Mr Rob Davies, said the pilot, Richard Jenner, was one of a group of 20 flying off the cliffs <clears throat> at the northern end of Maslin's Beach. Mr Davies said Jenner, who'd flown before, was trying out the new glider for the first time. Jenner was taken to the Flinders Medical Centre, where he's in a satisfactory condition. You'll forgive me, a cold, and I seem to be losing my voice at a very inopportune moment. And in Adelaide, three people found shot dead in a house at Windsor Gardens. And good evening with the Sunday Night News, Bill Citrini. The director of the National... the Natch... the Natural... Natch, the Natural Disasters Organisation, Major General Alan Stretton, wants the federal government to establish a royal commission into every aspect of the Darwin disaster caused by Cyclone Tracy. <coughs> the new Miss World, Cindy Breakspear from Jamaica, started her first day in office with a breast, 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 breakfast news conference. And that's all we have in this edition of National News. We'll be back tomorrow night at 7 o'clock with another bulletin of local and overseas news, followed, as usual, by Weekend Magazine. It's Christmas and we've had a lot of fun through the years giving you through the year giving you some hints and we have some very good Christmas presents that we think would uh, help and uh, because it's Christmas let's get into the act let's have some they got him upside down now. Oh. Oh, I don't know much about this father Christmas business but I've got some you've got the bill for I've got some good coaches. That's, that's magnificent look at this take pure, me side on I look pure, the part pure ermine Oh, magnificent, huh? Magnificent. I wouldn't have had a shave if I'd known <laughs> I was going to wear this. his wig. Yeah. <laughs> Which well, goes on first, the hat or the bonnet? Yeah, that's better. That's it. That's, <laughs> a, that's a real halo, Al. Looks magnificent. <laughs> Terrific. Yes, that's better still. Oh, now we're in business. Yes, now, now we're right. right. Yes, right. Well, first of all, <coughs> we've got one for Noel. Well, no, a, I don't know what's in it, that's but it's exciting. lady. That's a bit exciting. Just a minute. Okay, so get with the strength now. Yes, yes. You're in South exactly. Australia, so you must have a South Australian oh, wine. Well, I see, <coughs> I see. Oh, well, there we are, there we are. Look at that. That's very pleasant now. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. That, 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 look, private that looks pretty good to me. Go on, hurry up. I'll well, see what's in this now. This is a drum. <laughs> I'm always wanting a drum to beat. Beating. Oh, no, no, no. Well, give us a hand. Yeah, remove that and let's have a look, please. Ah, now, these are very good. That's a good idea. An ice bucket. Yeah, an ice bucket? No. Better still. You fellas are gardeners, not drinkers. Toy, toys for the kids. <coughs> look. One on top of the other. Oh, they're, no, not, they're very nice. They're, they're nice, cups. aren't they? Yeah. They're nice. That'd be very good for pot pumps and a house and things yeah, well, like that. What's the pro idea there? They most probably cost a fortune. Oh no. This no. is a cent less than sixteen dollars. This one. Yes. This is uh, that one is eight dollars and this one is ten dollars. And we're looking so at twelve dollars ninety there. Twelve, so it makes so a very nice set. 
That's, yeah. that's very good indeed, though. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Very strongly made. No, they're strongly made yeah. and they'd be worthwhile. That, that's yeah, pretty that's good. Very good yeah. indeed. Yeah. Yeah. That's Rex, right. there's yeah. one for, one for oh, you, Rex. Right. Dearing me, I like it. Uh, what is Rex? Oh, I think that's very good. And add your bottle of... Well, you open my bottle. I'm going to have a go at the Harmolic collection. Oh, you're an angel, do you? Well, there we go. Another Wally Miller. This one, yeah, oh, we'll be Thanks, this. Rick. So, you know, no, I'm going to put that one down there. We can have that after. No, I've got to get him to stay down there. Oh, here we are. Feeling these things. That almost feels like an air cushion. Does it? Let's get your bottle first, too. Good day, well made. Because you can't get the bottle. Now, you just have a look at that one. Yeah, you might get that in the bottle again. Ah, now, look, this is what I call really sensible. And it, it gives you a real chance to show your proud. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. I've got one myself. You've got one there. What have you got here? For the girls, there is on it. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Now, now, look, this is interesting. Yeah. Now, you remember Rex, I was telling you the other day about getting into pieces. Why do you go to the bar? Yeah, here's it. Yeah, that's the next one. Rex, I love it. Now, yeah, the local one getting into it. This is a section. Well, there's 50 cents in publication. I just wonder what now they're giving us.